Praise the Lord, saints, and welcome back to FFT, Food for Thought Ministries, where we move with purpose in our walk with Christ over here. My name is Rokisha Muhammad, and welcome to my channel. Amen, amen, amen. Today, I'm going to um, be talking about the Abide Bible and the Abide um, Bible Journals. Amen. So this is going to be a two for one. Amen. So let's just go really quickly over the Bible just so you can know about the journals. It's more the focus is going to be more on the journals, but I just need to show you the Abide Bible because you know they go together. Amen. So let's go over these quick features, run through them really fast, and then we're jumping right into the journals. Amen. So the Abide Bible is um, a Bible with some cool features that I really, really love, right? This is going to be my 2022 Bible, you guys. I really want to abide in the Lord more. Um, I mentioned in one of my videos that 2021 was focused on getting to know God's commands, getting to know his principles, getting to know his rules, his ordinance, um, and everything that I'm supposed to be doing as a child of God, right? So that's what I dedicated 2021 towards, just learning God and what I'm supposed to be doing. And 2022, I'm going to step it up, okay, and to abide in him more, amen, along with um, learning how to live kingdom. So the my main two Bibles in 2022 will be the Kingdom Bible by Tony Evans. I've already put a review out for that. And this Abide Bible. I wasn't able to get into it this year. So um, 2022, this is going to be one of the, my major Bibles that I'm going to be in. Amen. But anyway, without further ado, let's jump in this really quickly. I don't want this to be too long. So the features include praying scripture. Hallelujah. We all need that, right? Um, which is a pattern your prayers after biblical text, personalizing the prayer and gaining language for the thoughts and emotions you want to express. Then there's a picture it, which is place yourself in the biblical narrative as a bystander or participant in important events. Very good way to get involved in scripture. And then there's a journaling point, right? Where you can focus and reflect on scripture and its meaning for your life helps you engage, all right? Opening yourself to God's voice through the Holy Spirit by journaling. So it gives you journaling point. You can either journal journal in the Bible or have a separate notebook for that, right? And then engage through art. Consider a classic piece of art, photograph, sculpture, painting, and let it deepen your meditation on scripture. So this book is illustrated. So there's pictures that you can just look at and then whatever, however the Holy Spirit prompts you, then you engage with that piece that you're seeing, right? And meditate on that. And then there is contemplate. There's a part called contemplate where you follow the simple four steps practice of um, feasting on God's word by reading a passage, then meditating on its meaning and application, praying, and finally sitting silently, abiding in God's presence through the word of scripture. Okay. Now, whew, that was a lot. So now let's just see what this looks like. Okay. We're going to see what this all looks like. This is the Bible that I have. I have not gotten into this Bible that much at all. Those that know me, I have a Bible for every specific <laughs> thing that I want to study. They're, my Bibles are very specific and for specific purposes. Amen. They have they function for a particular reason and purpose. Now, here is the spine. If you can see that here, it is the NET, the New um, English Translation. The Abide Bible by Thomas Nelson. For some reason, I am a, I am a fan of Thomas Nelson Bibles. I just love their font, the way they print, and all that good stuff. This is a leather touch. Um, this is considered stone leather soft, right? With this gold. I already have it tabbed up. Those are my own. This is the back. It is, as you can see, perimeter stitched. There is a perimeter stitch all around the edge there. Okay. So we're not, oh, let's see. And there's just a white tail band and two ribbons. All right, gold gilding. Oh, I forgot about the gilding. 
and there is gold gilding all right so here you open it up paste down we have a paste down liner here it tells you the abide contemplate journaling picture it praying the scripture and engage through art we just went through all of those so this is just on the first as soon as you open it up right and i've had this bible since november of 2020 and i'm not even gonna hit it until 2022 my lord okay so the abide bible again net translation thomas nelson printed in china copyrighted in 2020 all right can y'all see that i hope so anyway contents you have old testament new testament um you have an introduction how to use this bible and then it gives you a breakdown on how all the steps are used this is telling you about the journaling part the picture it part the praying the scripture Engage through art, okay? Then you have your contributors. Then you have your abbreviations. Then you have your, um, basically your note to reader on the New English Translation, which I really do like. I do like it. It's pretty simple and easy to read. Um, you have some notes here. Translation team. You have your reading plan, 365 day reading plan. And I'm moving fast because this is really not a full review. I just want to get to these points so I can get to the journal. That's what this, I just wanted to just show you that there is a Bible that goes with it. Amen. So here you have Genesis. You have your introduction here. Um, then you have your, hope I'm in here. Then you have your historical and literary context. Okay. Then you have your prepare. And then you get into the word of God right here. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Single column format, love that. I love single column for some reason. I'm, I'm learning to love it more and more. It's just, I don't know. I like it because it more reads like a book. So there is a single column um, text block, okay? And then you have right here on the side margins, you have your prompts on how you engage with this scripture. They have a contemplate with Genesis 1, one through two and it tells you to what read it meditate it pray it and then contemplate it after you read it amen so if you just not knowing where to start this would be a good bible if you want to just learn to abide in the lord you can't go wrong with this bible amen and then you have here picture it prepare a prepare quiet yourself and ask god to prepare your heart and guide your imagination and then you picture it and then you pray okay Boom, here is one of those pictures of picture it. So this is a picture that you would look at and meditate on this word and engage with the work. Okay, this is the creation of Adam. Look at this. This is this is different. Amen. Hope y'all can see this. All right. So this would be a picture it. The creation of Ann. Um, I'm about to say, yeah, Adam. Picture of Adam. All right. And then here you have praying scripture. So to give you, this is the scripture right here. Genesis 1 verses 26 to 31. They have it in a whole prayer for you right here. Right. Beautiful, beautiful. And then you have here journal it. So if you had your own journal and you wanted to just do a, a journal, you can pick out your scriptures, highlight it in your journal and Bible. If you had one, um, Highlight it up in here, write these scriptures out. Then you can even make this a scripture writing. Just write this scripture out, prepare your heart, reflect and write, and then it gives you prompts on what to write about. Beautiful. Just you, it'll get you engaged. If you don't know what to do, start here. Amen. And then here's another picture it, and then here's another praying scripture, and then here is a contemplate. Amen. I hope I'm getting all this in here. All right, so y'all get the point. Single column. You have your praying the scripture here again. All right. You have your journal points to contemplate. You have your um, subheadings here with, in the, I guess it's like a greenish color, I think, or sageish color. And then you have your numbers in like a crimson red. 
that's cool. I like the breaking up of the, um, so let me just jump on in here. We already know that you get your introduction. Each page, each book has an introduction. You have your single column and look at all the space that you can journal also. Write your own notes right here on the page, amen. Anyway, so this, uh, this is what the Buy Bible looks like. Here's another picture it. Who is this? David. This is David with the slingshot, y'all. Took off Goliath's head. This is David. Look at David. Look how they got him. Okay, this is cool. Look, David kills Goliath. This is a picture it. So you can picture it, meditate on this picture, and write your feelings about it. Amen. It tells you to prepare, picture it, and then pray. Cool. Isn't this cool? It's a good way to engage. Anyway, just wanted to just flip through this. Let's see what the poetry is looking like. You got some charts here. And the same thing goes throughout single column. You have your, your um, what is this? Your um, scripture number on the verse by verse. That's what I'm trying to say. Ooh, hallelujah. Verse by verse scriptures on the, on the poetry. This is how your poetry is laid out. Again, you have your praying the scriptures. You have your journal it, picture it, and contemplate. Amen. I hope you're getting all this in here. I hope it's in there. All right. Again, this is poetry. You still have some journaling space. Each page is not taken up, as you can see. You still have space to write and take notes if you choose to do so. So this is how the Abide Bible is looking. Amen. Look at all this space. My Lord, it lays flat, as you can see. Oh, I got a little something, something in here. All right. Oh, I got some more highlights. Okay. Anyway, this is going to be my Bible for 2022, Abiding in the Lord. So that's enough for this. All right. Y'all get the point. Boom. This is the Abide Bible, N-E-T. All right. Thomas Nelson. All right. Now, this is what I wanted to get to. The epistles, the epistles and revelations. So basically, I just got the whole New Testament. And here is the Gospels and Acts. So if you look, this would be the beginning. Looks like this here. Pull it up so you can see. You have Acts, John, Luke, Mark, Matthew, Net Abide by Thompson Nelson. Let's open these up. Okay. That's what we're going to do. We can see how this really is. This was a birthday gift to myself that I purchased. Because I said I'm really going to be tearing up the New Testament next year really hard. So I wanted to be able to. What is this? Nothing. Okay. So this is what they look like without the plastic, okay? Let's shake one on out. This is, ooh, okay. Here is Matthew. Let me see, bring it down so y'all can see it pretty good here. All right. Mm, okay, about the size of a hand. Matthew, look at this nice little picture, the boat. So we open it up. These are journals, the Abide Bible Journal. These are books, separate books. You can buy them separately or you can buy them all together um, as a set. Um, you can buy the whole Bible. You can buy the Old Testament, the New Testament. They come in, you know, individual. You can just buy Matthew if you wanted to. So you don't have, they, they're all individual books. I just chose to get the New Testament because that's what, I wanted to study in for next year, the New Testament and abiding in the Lord, since I'm running through the Bible all the way. So here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have, um, again, copyrighted in 2020. We have printed in China. How to use this journal. It's just like the Bible. You have your contemplate, your journal it, picture it, and pray in the scripture, right? This is so cute. Oh, I'm gonna have fun with this, and then you can keep them and look at go back and look at your growth, amen. Hallelujah to the reader, okay. Um, look at that, 
Ministry first. Take up and read. Boom. Got your little notes here. Then you hit Matthew. Gives you an introduction. This is the introduction to Matthew. So you do have a cute little introduction. Amen. And boom, look at these big old words. This is what I'm talking about. I can see. Lord have mercy. I believe it's 11 point font. If I'm not mistaken, it's 11 point font. So boom, then it goes straight into Matthew. So you have basically a header. Chapter one. Look at these big old words. Love this. And then you have your little prompts, just like you have in the Bible, but you have a whole page to mark this up as much as you want to highlight, underline. For, for those of you who do not like marketing your Bible, this would be an excellent, excellent, excellent tool where you can still get your um, study on, hardcore study, and not mark up and mess up your Bible. If you're one of those people that don't, that got to have your Bible all perfect with no marks, Okay then you can get one of these and just tear this up. Amen. You got your notes right here and you have the scripture right here. And then you still get your little prompts. Beautiful. Look at this. Chapter two. Words are big enough. Enough space in between to highlight and box off if you choose to. Um, we have um, bolded. Come on. And I think that's because that was in the New Testament. I mean, the Old Testament. And then here you have your contemplate. So you still get the same prompts that were in the Bible, but you have them in this little journal. Handy dandy journal. Reflect and write. Journal it. Contemplate still gives you those things. So basically you have scripture, blank page. Okay. Scripture, blank page. Well, not necessarily blank because you have your little promptings here. So this has everything the Bible has except for picture it. Because it's not going to be any pictures because no, what no, we're not doing that. So you have your praying the scripture, you have your contemplate, and you have your journaling um, prompts, right? Isn't this cool? This was my birthday gift to myself. My birthday is July 30th. So this was my birthday gift to myself was to get the whole um, New Testament because I plan on digging deep. Y'all are going to see these. Trust me. Y'all are going to see these. <laughs> Because I'm going to be studying a whole section and we're going to write our little notes, go through this thing and mark it up. And yeah, y'all will see a lot of these. Y'all probably going to get tired of these. But anyway, just giving you a forewarning. Might want to go grab you some so you can come along. All right. I got the whole New Testament. I'm not saying I'm going to go through the whole New Testament with you guys, but I'm saying I'm going to have some online. Amen. I'm um, just showing a study with me. Amen. So there, basically, they all look the same. I'll probably look at another one. But you have your journaling tips, your blank page. You Look at this. I just love the font. This is what I'm talking I need all my Bibles. 12, 13 font. <laughs> Period. Amen. No glasses needed. No readers needed. Clear, bold, beautiful. And see, this has no prompt on it. You just have a whole full page. And if you didn't want to even, you just wanted to highlight and take notes here, then you can put your little stickers and highlight or whatever. You know, you can do your little journaling as well. Amen. It doesn't have to be always writing. You can do whatever the Holy Spirit leads you to do or however you engage with scripture, you engage. Um, again, praying scripture, journaling. Just love this. Adultery, divorce, oaths. Look at this. So this is just the whole do not worry. Look, you can just do a whole study on Bam, do not worry. Boom, do not judge. And write your feelings about it. Come on, what is God saying about don't worry? Come on now. I just love this. I love that this is a command. Ask, seek, and knock. I know that for sure. That's a command, y'all. Hearing and doing. Not just being a hearer of the word, but doing of the word. You see how easy it would be to just focus on little sections at a time where you're not distracted with the whole Bible. You don't get overwhelmed. You just focus on this. Boom. You can do this in like 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? A 30 minute, write down your scripture all right, and get it done. Or you can just focus and study over here and then just scripture right over here. You don't even have to have just write out this scripture, right? And just have this be your little scripture writing journal. I don't know. You do what you want to do with it. I'm just saying you have options. Okay. You don't have to stick to one particular way. You just, good way to study and mark this up. If you're not a, bi a person that likes to write your Bible, get these journals, right? They're cute. They're small. 
they're really cute and it's just the whole book of Matthew and they come in a case where you can just put them away they stack right on your shelf look I don't even know how to put them up okay they stack right onto your shelf bam cute let's see what acts look like acts all of them have different pictures they all start out the same way how to use it oh, i love this got your introduction to acts a lot of them don't have introductions too whole blank page wait a minute am i skip something Oh, you got your introduction, and then you got a whole blank page. Okay. Then you get into one, and then you start, and then you're and you're off. Okay. Beautiful. Look how big. I'm just loving these big words over here. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I be needing to see. So I just was like, woo, eleven point five. Okay. <laughs> I need that in my life. Amen. Amen. But anyway, look at a lot of blank pages prompts. Oh, you just gotta love this. I love the word of God. So this is just your own whole book of Acts. You can just take this with you on the go. You and your Bible. Go sit down somewhere. You ain't got to take your whole big old, you know, how you have all your stuff. You just boom and get you a pen and a highlighter and you're good to go. You have your Bible and your little notebook. Bam! And you ready to study and dig in. Understand me? So yeah, I just wanted to jump on here and share the Bible journals, again, this is the Gospel and Acts. So this is Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and Acts. Okay, show you that one more time. Again, by Thomas Nelson. I love everything Thomas Nelson does. Okay, boom. And then I have the rest of them. The epistles means the letters and then the revelation. So let's just open these on up too. Might as well. <sighs> Okay. Get these bad boys open. Ooh. Excuse me, y'all. All right. So here we have. Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians is in one book. Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd First and 2nd Thessalonians is together. 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, and I can't even say that one. Philemon is together because those are very, very short books. Then we have Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter are short books. 1st, 2nd, 3rd John, and Jude short books. So they're all in one. And then Revelation. So these are all the letters. Okay. And then Revelations, like it says. Can you see that? The case is very nice. Very cute. Now let's just see. I just want to go through the pictures real quick and then I'm and I'm gonna get off. First and second John. We just look at all right, let's look at the pictures here. We have 1st and 2nd John, nice picture. 1st and 2nd Peter, the pictures are all different. That's what we're looking at right now. James. Hebrews. So cute. 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus. Look at this. A little gold so nice first and second Thessalonians Colossians look at this Philippians look at all that blank pages back here Is that a lot of blank pages? That's a lot of blank pages, y'all. Look. Look at that. Look at it. 
That is a lot. All this is blank. Have your way with it. You understand me? Ephesians. Same. Look at all this notebook you paper you have. Then you get to your scriptures. Because these are just the letters. A lot of note taking. So that's good to know. I'm glad I did that. We know Galatians is really short. I know this is full of blank pages as well. Look at these blank pages, you guys. All this work to journal and take your notes or scripture right. This right here is all you got. Five chapters. Five chapters. This is it. Look at look it. And the rest is blank. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Study, 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 study. And then boom. This all you get. The rest is blank. Love it. Love it. First and second Corinthians. Aren't these cute? Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the pictures and then we're done. And then Romans. Ooh, one of my favorite books. Okay. They all the same, you guys. This is just so nice. This is going to go excellent with my Abide Bible. If you have an Abide Bible, or even if you don't have the Abide Bible, but you want to have the Abide experience, just get the journals. And, the, and all of these... Oh, and here go Revelation. I'm sorry, I haven't even pulled Revelations out. Oh, the lamb. Oh, the lamb. And I just got the net. <sighs> what is it? Art Bible is coming soon. And it has the lamb on it. And it's in the blue color. And it's a, I think it's a thin line, large print. But it has this lamb engraved on it. And the artwork It's basically all this artwork throughout the Bible. So anyway, yeah, I just ordered that too. But anyway, Revelations. Come on now. Look at you guys. Beautiful. Notebook. Look at the lamb. This is that's so cute to me. So let me uh let me put this away. Okay, so if you want to have the abide experience, then get the abide. I don't know how this is supposed to go. Get these little journals. If you don't like, if you're not a person that likes to mark up your Bible, I highly recommend these. That way you can still get down and dirty and have something to look up, look on, look back on later on to see how you've grown. Amen. So yeah, this is the whole New Testament. We have the Gospels and Acts, and then we have the Epistles and Revelation. And we have the whole Bible. Amen. The Abide Bible. So that will conclude this lesson. Amen. So please, please, please like, share, and subscribe. And you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. This is going to, I'm putting this up. This is my 2022 Bible. We're going to get down and dirty, y'all. Y'all going to see this stuff. Trust me. Amen. So again, without um what was i gonna say yeah move with purpose in your walk with christ you guys okay i hope you enjoyed this may god bless you all okay um yeah i think that's it move with purpose in your walk with christ god bless you pray for me as i pray for you bye bye now